Independence, Missouri, the Harry S. Truman Library becomes a reality, fulfilling a long-cherished dream of the ex-president, a noted amateur historian. A crowd of 10,000 witnesses the Masonic rites of dedication. Mr. Truman and Chief Justice Warren, both past masters of the order, take part in the ritual. The structure was built by popular subscription. Among those attending, in addition to Mrs. Truman, was Mrs. Franklin D. Roosevelt, and political leaders of both parties. Republican Senate leader Noland was one of the onlookers, as President Eisenhower's representative received the deed on behalf of the government. Our only living former presidents, Hoover and Truman, met for congratulations that typified the nonpartisan spirit of the day. The Truman Library houses three and a half million documents, the records of a seven-year term of office that comprise an invaluable research center. The meadows of that eventful era make up an historical museum which, in large part, speaks for itself. For instance, this souvenir of Truman's 1948 election victory. The private archives of Harry S. Truman, a gift to America.